I love this question because guys create this expectation of like the worst kind of case scenario is always going to happen to them when they're uh, they're going out and talking to people and 99.9% of the time they really are just predicting the worst like a lot of these things just really don't happen and in i think my years of of being in the industry the worst things that i have ever seen play out have been where guys have just been ignored uh the women that they've stopped have just said no thank you or they're not interested uh or that they have been able to start the conversation with the women and then they've just had like the uh, the boyfriend objection, or they've also said that they're not interested or no thank you, and then they've just kind of walked off afterwards. That is honestly the worst I have ever seen. And I can count even on one hand the, uh, uh, the, the, the F-offs or, or, um, or just, I don't know, swear words around that. Uh, probably on one hand and that is again over like the last decade or so of either me approaching other guys that I've known approach or even clients or coaches doing approaching very very few times or even at all will you get uh, these most extreme scenarios but to be fair though, and, and even I, when I first got into the world of cold approaching or pickup or day game and stuff, um, all of those years ago, um, I do remember having limiting beliefs um, as well that were based around like what the worst case scenario would be if I was stopping and talking to someone. Like I think one of the most craziest ones that I'd held on to uh, for I think probably my first couple of years in the industry was this idea that if I stopped someone to talk to them, they would either pull out a, a mace and then be like spraying me. Um, and then I'd be like screaming and running around and most likely like run into like a lamppost or something and then fall over and embarrass myself. Or they would just end up like screaming and shouting for help and, 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 claim that you know that they're, be they're being attacked or something now forget what you might hear with uh with social media or even with like news outlets um the idea of going over and talking to someone as long as you're doing it respectfully you are not going to get those worst case scenarios happening you would have to do something pretty bad or pretty offensive for someone to be running and screaming away, uh, claiming that they're being attacked or having to get like a mace out. And this was one of the realizations, especially when I'd been cold approaching for a while, that I came to when I was realizing that actually I had kind of experienced the worst case scenario of just being ignored or uh, or someone walking away and so on. But you know what though, that didn't actually really reflect on the women that I was talking to, that actually reflected more on me. And I, again, you've seen in many of my videos, I like taking responsibility for any actions or decisions that I make. So I would then be, um, be saying to myself, like, well, what could I have done better? Well, when I went and approached her, I may have approached just a little too close. I didn't give her enough space. And and so that kind of uh, weirded her out or just sort of took her by surprise. Okay, give more space next time. Or perhaps maybe I uh, went to go and stop someone and I spoke too quietly. And so they didn't hear me and then they walked off or I had spoke they were kind of in like a whole different world. They were in autopilot because they just weren't focusing on anyone stopping to talk to them. And so because I'd already given my delivery of my speech or opener, they were a bit like, what? So can you, can you say that again? And then when you have to repeat a second time, uh, it doesn't quite have that same impact. And in fact, you do kind of feel a bit subconscious, like, like, oh, I've got to say this again to, to kind of make my point. Oh, this is going to be a bit weird. And so then it creates that weird dynamic. 
So I took responsibility on what things could go wrong. And I like that idea. It's it's a very stoic approach to accept the things that you have control over and realize that there is nothing to worry about with the things that you don't have control over. So I would then start implementing all of the changes necessary that would get me better results. I would give more space between the people that I was talking to. I would wait and get their attention first before I make my delivery. I'd also speak clearer and with more uh, more clarity as well, whether I was either speaking too fast or too quietly, I would have more conviction with what I was saying. And the results from that meant that people would catch, I'd catch their attention or they would hear me out. I would have a bit more authority that they would be happy to stop for me. And that at least then opens that window of then having a conversation with someone, but also remembering not to take it to heart. If someone says they've got a boyfriend or they're not interested because you're not their type, or if unfortunately you've caught someone on a really bad day and maybe you hadn't quite judged it right and gone like, oh yeah, you know what? Although that person might look like they're in a bad mood, yeah, I'm gonna go and talk to them anyway. You never know. Things are also out of your control and that is okay. Just be aware of that. But I can assure you the rejections that you get um, or the reactions that you get from interactions really aren't that bad. I've never seen anything past the extreme of someone ignoring you, walking away and so on. But, and I'm gonna do a video uh, on this later on this week, uh, cause I, I had a really great discussion with a guy uh, on one of my videos um, and I said I would actually um, uh, talk about it and also go over an exercise that I've given him and expand on it. But don't worry about also trying to future predict how a scenario is gonna play out. That That tends to be where a lot of the limiting beliefs come in if you're trying to future predict and you haven't got any experience to go on that will counteract that belief that you've got. So if you haven't got good experiences that actually say, oh, well actually the worst you're gonna experience is just a girl walking away. If you haven't experienced that, then of course, if, you've, if this is like maybe your first time going to talk to people or cold approach people, then of course you're gonna have every doubt and worry and whatnot in your mind. But I can honestly say hand on heart, although you can't, oh there you go, you can sort of see my uh, my hand on screen, but I can honestly say hand on heart, the most uh, extreme scenarios to reiterate it again is that women will just walk away if they're not interested. And especially if you're going over respectfully, you're dressing appropriately, you're doing your very best to make a really good first impression. That is the worst you will get. So if you are stressed about it, doing it on your own, see a coach, see a professional about it. Now, I actually also offer life coaching and I actually offer a service called Dating Desensitization Therapy, where I can help you and work with you on these particular anxieties. So do have a look at my website if maybe that's something that resonates with you. If you think that going out and talking to women, you are literally thinking about the worst case scenarios happening. And in fact, that's preventing you from talking to someone, then rest assured, I have a lot of exercises and techniques up my sleeves that can help you to overcome that. And by the end of the week, you'll be like, oh, what was I worrying about? I was worrying over nothing. So certainly have a look at that. I also have my integral eye movement therapy to help you work on any past traumas or anxieties that you've got, especially if it's limiting beliefs based around the idea of approaching and talking to people. It is a very common thing for a lot of men to just be anxious of talking to strangers, maybe because of just the upbringing that they've had or experiences that they've had and so on. So I can certainly help with that. But otherwise, even then, if you're in a pretty decent place and you are still uncertain about approaching uh, or approaching women, then even reach out to a dating coach as well. And if you're unsure who, reach out to me and I can certainly give you some recommendations. But other than that, 
I've been Dan, that dating anxiety guy. If you can like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment below on your thoughts on this video, and I'd love to get a discussion going about maybe what was the, yeah, you know what? What was the worst experience you've had when cold approaching? You know, what's been like the biggest rejection that you've had? Because I'm pretty confident that most guys, it would have just been exactly the points that I said. And unless you've done again something horribly wrong uh, or something really offensive, I really can't see any of the extreme scenarios that I mentioned happened either. But comment below. I'd love to hear what experiences you've had, maybe even good ones as well. But uh, I'd love to hear below. And until the next video, thank you very much for watching.